Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. For the glory of her grace, I shall make... Got guests. Careful. up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Nets were attached here. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. Nets were attached here. Accessory clearly. Need to comb the bank. Notice anything interesting? Alas, nothing. Only blood soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet, of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed D.L.C. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions, no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did, but I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. 
Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Pomrit's presence, however. Ah! He finds such familiarity offensive. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. This is called in the camp of the beast. A killer from the north, they say. What? With no lads brave enough? Ah. Of course we have. Bravery is not enough against the beast. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard. But all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Like Milton said, I've come from the north at the Duchess's behest to deal with the beast. Yes, yes, but who are you? A knight? A mercenary? A soldier? Geralt is a witcher, a master of his trade. He has questions for you about the beast's most recent victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright, I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Ninis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicofaro, 
I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The Duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Saintois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Kovo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton. And good luck. They come but to It's oh dear friend with a piece of dance. Sounds of a fight. Have to hurry. Slow now. Whoa. Damn it. Killer must still be here. Killed with a single blow. Jaws, man like, except for long fangs. Busted ribs, blood from the ears, took a solid hit, massacred by a vampire. Not a Mickey Mora, though, or Flutter, Bruxa, gotta be. In the cellar, gotta be. River Muck carried the body in his cart. Separate claws, spread of a small human hand. <laughs> Footprints, small bare feet, lead deeper into the cellar. Hurled against the wall with great force.
used this to batter down the grate. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch bulging with coins. Nelfgardian florins from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess.
Channel? Ah. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Story's done. Go find your parents. But the Palmerin. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? The tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia. The master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? <clears throat> yeah, virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The Cutter of Casteldaccia too. Moral victory. That's what counts. Nobis! Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. <laughs> Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shalemar? Maybe some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? What effort is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells dangling from your ass? If you're a monster, you a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he'd promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. My imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. <laughs> Down. <laughs> the last, the last. 
The beast heaved its foul gun. Let's win the war and throw it into earth. It is down came the witcher in one mighty bound. Give fight to the beast. Its plans confound. The fate of the beast has been weighed by the gods. Soon the witcher shall triumph against all odds. The witcher waited to the time. Then twelve danced and spun. Struck the monster that flew. Defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. <laughs> 